Now, Tucker? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Hit that join button so you join the Tatum Squad. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I had to make this video because Tucker just went off the rails last night, in my personal opinion. See, I like Tucker because I felt like Tucker was one of the only people um, on the Fox News Network that kept it 100. It wasn't afraid to say anything at any given time to stand up for what's right, to stand up for the Constitution. I love Lord Ingram as well. Judge Jadine is cool. Hannity is cool. The Five is cool. Now, if I'm missing some people, I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but these are the only people that I can think of as it stands. But the organization, Fox News in and of themselves, they have lost the people. I will never watch Fox. But only reason that I even, I will never go on Fox. And the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm even knowing what Tucker's saying, because people are out here bashing Tucker and saying all this. So I said, let me hear it from the horse's mouth. And lo and behold, it was worse than I thought. Tucker Carlson actually went on to the news and try to make a case that there is no evidence and Sidney Powell and Trump's legal team presented no evidence of voter fraud. I don't even need Trump's team to say anything and show any evidence uh, on their side of voter fraud. I witnessed people doing voter fraud with my own two eyes. I have enough common sense to know if there is a will, there's a way for people to cheat this election because they hate Donald Trump so much. If our government can allow Hillary Clinton to delete 30,000 emails and have Director Comey come out and say she committed a crime, had an unsecured server in her basement, sending and receiving classified information, and she didn't even get a slap on the wrist. She didn't even say, you lose your security clearance. She ran for president after that. If they can do that and they can have a Russia investigation with no merit for four years, just about, then what make you think that they won't cheat and they won't coordinate an effort to get President Trump out of office? Also, if the former president, Barack Obama, can wiretap and spy on President Trump's campaign and he's the lovable president that everybody want to be like then I'm dumb enough to think that these people won't try something in an election that's unprecedented with all of these mail-in ballots that are unsolicited. We've never done this in history. They shut down a, the election vote on election night, which never happened in history, and only the swing states where President Trump was up, all of a sudden he go down, and you telling me I'm, I'm, I'm too dumb to figure that out? Sidney Powell and Donald Trump's team laid it out very clean. And I want you to hear what uh, Tucker Carlson said. I'm going to play a small clip of what Tucker said so you can get a, you get a glimpse of what he said about Sidney Powell. Then I'm going to show you a clip of Sidney Powell contradicting him, 100% contradicting what Tucker Carlson said. Roll the film. But she never sent us any evidence, despite a lot of requests, polite requests, not a page. When we kept pressing, she got angry and told us to stop contacting her. When we checked with others around the Trump campaign, people in positions of authority, they told us Powell has never given them any evidence either, nor did she provide any today at the press conference. But she never demonstrated that a single actual vote was moved illegitimately by software from one candidate to another. Not one. You see that? You see how they doing it? Even Tucker, in my personal opinion, has been compromised because they paying him millions of dollars a year to be on his network, of course he's going to toe the line. Of course they're going to toe the line. Now let's listen to what Sidney Powell said. Roll the film. Tucker Carlson said that uh, he had invited you on his show to share evidence of uh, the software flipping votes, uh, and he, he said you got angry and refused to provide evidence for your claims of voting software flipping votes. How do you respond to Tucker Carlson? Did you get angry with the show because they texted you and asked you to please provide evidence of what you're uh, alleging? 
Uh, no, I didn't get angry with the request to provide evidence. In fact, I sent an affidavit to Tucker uh, that I had not even attached to a pleading yet uh, to help him understand the situation. And I offered him another witness who could explain the mathematics and statistical evidence uh, far better than I can. I'm not really a numbers person. But he was very insulting, demanding, and rude, and I told him not to contact me again in those terms. Now, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that these two statements are not adding up. And I'll be quite honest. It seems very clear to me that Sidney Powell is more integral, or not integral, but have more integrity in this investigatory process than I think what Mr. Uh, Tucker Carlson has. I think she has more integrity in this because she's not getting paid hundreds of millions of dollars over a contract period, which I don't know if Tucker's getting paid that, but he's getting paid millions over a contracted period in order to, to preach the news that Fox News want him to preach. So you tell me. But I'm done with Fox, man. I'm done with Fox. I've been done with Fox. You won't see me going on Fox. I'm not doing it. Because I do not support anybody that won't support the president that will not stand up and support our country and will not support a fair election. If anybody's telling you at this point there's no evidence, all you got to go to all you got to do is go to TatumReport.com. We got all the evidence of everything that happened in that press conference. So you can look at it with your own two eyes, not listening just to me, look at it with your own two eyes and see as clear as the noonday sun that there's at least enough evidence to take it to court. There's at least a hundred affidavits of people explaining voter fraud when you have over a hundred of them in multiple states. What else do you need to see? Unless you're willfully being ignorant, unless you really don't want the truth to come out because your, no, your news network has set up an agenda and set up a statement and took a stance that has been contradicted and may fall apart and crumble completely. And you got to toe the line because they paying you money. But anyway, I could talk about this for about five or six more hours, but I want you to watch the rest of my videos. Comment in the comment section. Is B. Tatum tripping or am I on or something? Visit the Officer Tatum store where you can get this cool shirt. Also go to TatumReport.com. Make sure you go on there and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Get the push notifications. And if God has put it on your heart, donate so we can keep presenting to you 100% verified news, 100% real news for 100% free. I love you guys. I appreciate you. See you in the next one. I'm out.